USA. And we'll see how he deals with dive kicks, and we'll see how Yun, Kazunoko Yun, gets in. We'll see the movement. Yep, there's a start to it. Okay, so very important to establish that right. early on. Remember we talked about that was one of the things that turned out, turned around the matchup against Mago, is being able to stop that dive kick pressure. Right. So he's going to try to take that knowledge here into this match, but Kazunoko already has Gustavo into the corner. Ooh. Okay. And the bells. Wow, and then jumps to the other side to keep him in the corner. Smart stuff. Oh, he drops the combo. Yeah, could have fit a standing strong in there. Oh, he got it. Wow, great reaction from Gustavo. Gets him in the corner, but Kazunoko with those EX up kicks always knows when to bust him out. Well, look, in that situation, 801 Strider needed a huge comeback, and that was the moment to make it happen. And so Kazunoko knows that. Kazunoko knows this, that my opponent thinks this is the time to get it going. Yep, exactly. And that's exactly when you need to shut it down. Very smart play by Kazunoko. That's how you read those momentums. Oh, red focus just to start the round. So 801 Strider going to go down almost half-life already. Okay. Mm. Oh, he actually did it. Fantastic. The armor cancel into the super. <laughs> oh! oh, beautiful bait. And with two move, two combos, essentially, he might take the round or even just bring Kazunoko down to a tiny chunk of life. Tiny chunk. Yep, there it is. Oh, Kazunoko, you, you know what? Oh, what a read. What a read. Kazunoko doesn't often sit still on wake up. He knows how strong his character's crouching jabs are. He knows how strong his character's movements are. And, and how, you know, his character doesn't have much life. And so sitting still might get him killed. Crouching jabs on the wake up. But Strider takes it anyway. Oh, wow, and the cancel. Oh, option select didn't work. Oh, Kazunoko, what a solution. Okay, Strider getting stunned. What's the reset going to be on this? Wow, again, good read by Strider. And can he take this one again? Can he take this one again? Oh, wow, yes, he got right into range to make that dive kick unsafe. Oh, and a block on Wake Up. Oh, beautiful. Jump jab gets him away. Oh, oh he chased him down, but not enough to kill. Oh, he got the cross up. Wow, up jump backwards forward cross up. He reacted to that lunge punch with the correct button in the air. Great stuff. What a reaction by 801 Strider. And he's trying to settle himself down a little bit. He knows that was pretty hype. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Yep, there's that. We saw that against Mago quite a bit. And again, the stand strong. He has all of the anti dive kick tech that he needs. Unfortunately, now caught. Time for Kazunoko. Oh, Kazunoko going for a regular throw. Smart. Yeah, oh, but again, baits out the up kicks. Oh, he he wanted up kicks again. He, he thought Kazunoko was going to do it again. Oh, wow. Traded with that lunge punch. Gustavo trying to cage. Oh, I the, really like it. I love how yeah. he's doing stand fierce in those situations. He expects Kazunoko to go back into the air. He sees the dive kicks that land on the top of Abel's head that are not plus on block by any means. And it's Abel's close fierce. It's only four frames. Very fast move. So it's a nice option. 801 Strider. Okay, here's Kazunoko now. Yeah, Kazunoko, I like going for the grab in that situation nice. now. Just using the EX armor to get out of there. That's all he wanted, and that's exactly what he got. See, in those air-to-air -air situations, you jump back fierce, it's hard for Yun to really do huge damage punish to it. Again, jump back fierce. His anti-dive kick game... Good stuff. ...starting from game three versus Mago has just been on point. Yeah, absolutely. Not too much able could have done to punish that. Crouching fierce attempt. Oh, Here's Kazunoko! Good challenge from Kazunoko! He's going to take that round. Trying to tie it up one to one. Does not want to go down 0-2. Oh, great reaction. Grabs him with the EX Falling Sky. Nice anti-air stand strong from Kazunoko. Kazunoko's been teching a lot in that situation post-dive kick, which is something that Abel has forced him to do. It's not what he wants to do, but he has to do it. Nice. Kaz oh, there That's was the that. OS. Yeah, yeah, that was the OS. Oh, here comes Kazunoko, but not at a range again where he could get that dive kick, the combo, and an EX, tornado throw. It's going to get through there. 
And again! Oh, I didn't see that coming. Neither did Kazunoko. One more mix up. Oh! And he got it! It's 2 to 0, folks! 801 Strider getting the Reeves. We saw Mago get four command throws against Gustavo earlier in the tournament. Gustavo paying the favors back forward to Kazunoko. Look at the expression of Kazunoko there, really trying to consider how to start dealing with this. He, he has seen 801 Strider sort of neutralize that on the head dive kick approach. You know, there's no Dragon Punch on Abel's part, and so oftentimes people will go to dive kicks like that, even though they're not plus on block. Abel doesn't have a great get off me tool, but that close fierce by 801 Strider has really taught Kazunoko. It's probably, honestly, probably, it's probably close fierce option select Dorte, which is super tough to do. There's like, it's like a two frame input, but I'm gonna ask him later whether he's doing that, because I would, <laughs> would not put it past him. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Again, he's using that low short to go under the up kicks. That is some technology right there. Oh, back dash escape. But again, Kazunoko only going for regular throws. You see the... Oh, there it is, the Zenpo tension. Mm -hmm. He knew the timing to bring that mix up in. Oh, oh beautiful. He delayed that just enough. Spends a little extra meter to get the damage. Maybe? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. Just in case there was a jump so out. Good. EX roll would have lost. EX command grab would have lost. Abel spending some meter. Yep, he saw the opponent crouching and ducking, so probably not trying to jump out. Here it is. Ooh, what was he looking for there? Roll, maybe? Not sure. Back dash. Oh, get oh, sick. And gets himself out of the corner. Oh, good timing and distancing on that dive kick. Oh, what a bait. What a bait from Kazunoko. Getting that. He recognized that he is going for that EX change of direction so much. Two to one. Kazunoko making some great adjustments. You see Aiparu there, Renzo giving him a lot of advice, talking him through again, noticing him stuff. Looks like he's telling him just to calm it down, keep the situation, you know, try to not get into the scrambles. That, that's what I interpreted from the hand gestures. But here comes Kazunoko. He wants it to be a little bit more manic paced. Yes. Ooh, I love the backdash EX lunge punch. He does that so much. Okay, press the advantage on that one. Yeah, he is making this work. And we just saw Strider with an 0-2 comeback against Mago. Right. Kazunoko trying to return the favor. Kazunoko now one round away from tying it up, 2-2. Two two. Oh, oh yes. here we go. Caught him with the step kick. Opportunity. God A lot damage. of damage. Yep, that's able. Oh, again. One more mix-up is going to seal this round. Oh, yep. Stun. And he builds meter even. <laughs> okay, so he's going into this next round at match point. 801 Strider attempting to get into grand finals of CEO 2015. That is his goal. But he's up against Kazunoko with full bar. And Kazunoko has been making this comeback. Last round notwithstanding, the last few rounds have been great adaptations by Kazunoko. Oh, EX armor with perfect timing to punish the dive kick. Oh, tried to chase him down. Almost had that perfect so he could have comboed into Ultra off the low fierce. Not gonna quite get it. Here comes Kazunoko. Wow, the side switch, but the air to air from 801 Strider. So much meter. Damage output available on both sides right now. Oh, okay, it's all gone on Kazunoko's side. All that meter. That said, he has the positioning he wants. Oh, what a reaction to get that up kick. But a back dash. He back dash through the Zen tension. He needs one more. Kazunoko, can he stay alive or is 801 Strider going to make it into grand finals? We'll see. What's the mix up? Oh, he just goes for the sweep. But here comes Kazunoko. A throw tick. That was the safest option on both sides. They are scared. They are both scared Overhead. right now. Not quite enough to kill. He just goes for the chip. Kazunoko 
keeps alive. It is 2-2. Keeping it going. I, I'm very impressed by that end of that round when both of these players, neither of whom get scared easily, just did normal grab. Normal grab and delayed tech. That was that option right there. And again, that's one of the safest pressure tools you can do. So now it's on 801 Strider to make this adjustment, recover a little bit, because the last two games have gone to Kazunoko. Try to go for that jump back fierce, but like I said, why is that such a key tool against dive kicks, the air to air, is that it's really hard to punish. Even on those whiff situations. Oh, that was weird. Well, Traded with the falling sky. Yeah, yeah. the falling sky's always yeah. been kind of crappy. <laughs> oh, and here comes Kazunoko. That was so smart. That was not a dive kick. It was jump medium kick. It was a way to beat the Crouching Fierce. If there had been a delay to bring the dive kick out, Crouching Fierce would have come out, and that would have been a very different story. Yep. And here comes Kazunoko starting again. Down 0-2 on the verge of trying to make a three-game comeback. Oh, not quite the right timing right for that second hit, only to hit. Nice. First time he's done that in the set. Oh, and here comes Kazunoko with all the momentum. That should be it, Kazunoko with the 0-2 reversal to win three games in a row and Kazunoko is in grand finals and you can see how frustrated Gustavo is. You can see the look on his face. Yeah. This here is that argument right there why some people want to save the losers finals match till now to give a player like Gustavo a little bit of a rest. But you know what? That's not the way it goes. So you have to understand that. So you had better be prepared to come back and just play the next game to the best of your ability. Right. That's the rules. So you got to play within the rules. Can't complain too much about that. Yep. Uh, PR Rog versus 801 Strider. They're both going to try to play against Kazunoko again. But now we're going to have probably Abel versus Balrog. Balrog, yeah. Uh, a match where they both had good footsies. Certainly Abel is much more explosive, but... Well, maybe that's not even true anymore. PR Rog is so consistent with that giant Balrog combo <laughs> that leaves him, uh, the opponent at like 700 right. stun that, that uh, well, maybe that's not really accurate. Right. And you know what? I mean, I do appreciate the sentiment that, I got, that I'm receiving within the social universe